Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2019 and use it with the Visual Studio 2019 as well. But obviously, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. But in this video, obviously, we will actually download the, the Express version of the Microsoft SQL Server. So the Microsoft SQL Server Express is a version of Microsoft SQL Server Relational Database Management System that is free to download, distribute and use. It comprises a database specifically targeted for embedded and smaller scale applications, right? So enough of all that. So I've, as you can see, I've got a browser with Google open. So what we do is we type SQL Server Express, right? Or just SQL Server, whatever. So once we type, we type that, then the first result obviously is a SQL Server download, right? So we click on this bit here. So here we actually take into this page. So we scroll down. So it is like a SQL Server on a premise. So this built intelligent mission critical application with a scalable hybrid data platform. So this is the version for developers. So this is SQL Server 2019 developer. It's a full featured free edition licensed for use as a development and test database in a non production environment. And the last bit obviously which we're going to download is the is a SQL Express or SQL Server Express. So this is a obviously as I, like I said earlier, it's a free edition of the SQL Server, ideal for development and production for desktop, web and small server applications. Right, so we go ahead by clicking on the download now. So once you click on this bit, obviously you be, you get the download. I've I've already done that, so there's no mean there's no need for that, right? So as you can see, I've already downloaded it. So I click on the on my download link. So here, obviously, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So we click on yes. So as you can see, yeah, we've got the SQL Server Express um, here now. So obviously, here we'll be prompted to choose these options, right? So here we'll be able to download the media. This is the download the SQL Server setup files now and then install them later on a machine of your choice. Uh, we could just download, select the basic installation type to install the SQL Server database engine feature with default configuration. Or this bit here, we'll, we'll be able to actually custom our installation. But we're not going to look too much into that. We're just going to click on this bit here. And we actually accept the agreement. So here we actually select what, what um, the location, yeah, where we want to install the uh, the server. So here we obviously we've got a minimum free space requirement to be uh, six five seven eight megabytes. So you do the math. So this is the download size two hundred and sixty six megabytes. So better one in mind as well. So the next bit of course is we can click on the install or we can come to the previous previous page and then we click on this custom bit here and we click on next. So here we actually get in the download. So what I'm going to do obviously is actually pause the video where the whole thing takes effect. So I'll be back once the download is completed. So now once we've got the download actually completed, we've got this SQL Server Installation Center open. So we click on this bit here. So we're just going to wait. Yeah, so here we've got a Microsoft Update Office Security and blah, blah, blah. We're not going to look too much into that. We're just going to click on Next. So we click on next again. So 
So I'm just gonna ignore the fire warning. So I'm just gonna continue. So we accept the terms and condition. So here, obviously we can ask, we can select what actually what features that we want to obviously install. So as you can see, there are a bunch of features that you can actually personally look and select whatever that is actually applicable to you. I'm not, I'm just going to leave this bit as it is here and then click on the next. So here we've got the name instance, which is the SQL Express, the instance ID as the SQL Express as well. So we leave this as they are and click on the next. So here, we just added in, I put this um, Java stuff, so it's not really important. I'm just going to click on next. So here we get uh, SQL Server database engine, SQL Server, and all the necessary features will be installed. So we're just going to click on next. So here we'll be able to select the authentication mode. So we're just going to leave it as Windows authentication mode, but we can always come back and make some changes. So we click on the next. So here we click on the accept. So we click on the next. You see this is actually going to consent to install Python as well, but I think I've already got that on my system. So I didn't really mean to install all of that. So you can actually make some changes from the beginning. So we click on the next. So here we are at this point, so the installation is in progress. So I'm just going to pause it. So if there's any changes, then I'll be back. Otherwise, we're just going to wait for it to complete. So now, as you can see, we've got the um, installation completed, right? With all the necessary, all the necessary um, features installed. So we can click on the close here. And here you can get your summary as well here so this is everything so i'm just not gonna show you a lot here so i'm just gonna close this bit here so now maybe i mean this the computer might need a a restart or a reboot but obviously we we we, we all sorted out now right so what what i'm gonna do is just gonna Pause the video now. So now what we do is we're just gonna close the, the installation center. Right, so since we've been able to install it successfully, what we do is we check it if we're able to connect it. So it's a dot backslash SQL Express, if you may recall initial. So now we can test it. So as you can see here now, We've got the connection succeeded. So we can actually add it in a database. So we're just going to make it CTT. We want we click OK. Obviously, it's not created, so we'll be actually prompted to, to, to create it. So as you can see here now, we click on yes to create it. So here, as you can see here now, we've got the database created now. So it's very simple. So 
on my next video we'll look at how we'll be able to get started with it by being able to create update in the database and whatnot so i'll leave this i'll leave this video here and if you still haven't subscribed please i hope you do so because i've got lots of videos coming up so have a lovely morning evening after wherever you are peace